Hello and welcome once more to Red Gaming Tech for yet more daily gaming news and myself and Wata. Today is the 30th of April and I have some news for you today from Battlefield 4. As we have a couple of pieces of news, first of all I'm going to be talking about the Renter Server program. Now the Renter Server scheme is now live, but unfortunately the Xbox One version has run into a snag. Now I'll deal with the snag in just a second but I just want to read the official statement regarding the renter server from DICE and they said quote Today the renter server program has started to roll out for console versions of Battlefield 4. This will let you set up your own private and public Battlefield 4 servers with control of different options from player count to map rotation. Thanks to these customization options you'll be able to create games that suit the playstyle for you and your friends. And of course on the Battlefield blog post they did detail how to actually rent a server as well as the pricing and the, that kind of thing. The link is in the description below this video if you wish to get more information on the ins and outs of how and how much it costs and that sort of thing. Um, so the main thing I want to discuss now before I move on to the other piece of news is the Xbox One version as I said is coming to it a snag and is actually on hold at the moment so when they say console versions they mean apart from the Xbox One and DICE said quote we have identified rental time issues with the rent server program release on Xbox One and have temporarily removed the feature as we investigate. The servers which were already rented will still be available for play but admins may not be, be able to access all the management features at this time as soon as a fix in place will announce its availability so there you go unfortunately for the xbox one guys there has been a mysterious issue which has caused the rent server program to not be available now the other thing i want to discuss is that they have also addressed the death shield issue which has been of course plaguing multiplayer for quite some time and they said quote we'd also like you to like to inform you that with today's server update we are deploying a fix for the issue being referred to as death shield where an invisible shield would appear around killed enemies blocking weapons fire thank you for being patient as we worked to get this resolved so there you have it the rent server went live for most plat console platforms today but we do have a definite fix for the death shield so that's something a little bit of good news to go with the unfortunate news for the xbox one guys that you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for the rent server program to be available for you so of course as soon as they release it for the xbox one i will let you guys know but that is me done for this video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time